Hello, how's it going? Welcome to Go Natural English. I have a great question from an audience member, Yasa. Yasa asks, how should I write for my English test? So Yasa, I want to help you out, but I want to let you know that, you know, I'm not your classroom teacher and probably you have a test from your English teacher, right? So make sure that as for any case, you are aware of what your teacher is asking for. Make sure that you have the correct assignment and the directions for your writing task. But in general, for English as a second language tests, I would recommend a few things. So of course, number one, be aware of the directions for writing. Number two, keep it simple. Don't use big words that you're not really comfortable with or you're not really familiar with just to try to impress the teacher. You're probably not going to impress them. It might be awkward or you might use them in a wrong way. So keep it simple. Use words that you already know how to use. Same thing goes for grammar. Keep your sentences short. It's good to vary the length, some short, some longer, and use transitions, but don't try to make a really, really long sentence just because you think it's going to look smarter. It's not. It's going to be a run-on sentence and you'll have points subtracted for bad grammar. Um, third, use organization. I mentioned transitions before. Also use paragraphs for each separate idea. Break it into a new paragraph. So those are three simple tips that will make your writing in English so much better. Simple is good. Remember, be confident in the words that you want to use and keep it simple, clear, organized, and easy for your teacher to read. I swear, as a teacher myself, your teacher will really appreciate it. I hope this was helpful. And if you want to learn more about the Go Natural English way of becoming fluent in English, visit gonaturalenglish.com. I'd love to give you a free ebook just for visiting and show you the premium course. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.